In this next tutorial, we're going to go through and create a second set of UVs for our model. Now, there's a number of reasons why you would want to have this for a model that's used in a game engine. In our case, it's going to be because we want to be able to bake lighting information directly into a series of textures for the model. So let's come in here. I'm going to select my straight piece and hide unselected. I'm going to go ahead and hit Z to zoom in on it. And now if I go into Unwrap UVW, I'm going to look for a rollout called Channel. And in the channel, it defaults to Map Channel 1. So I'm going to take what I have here, and I'm going to move it into Channel 2. So I'm going to click and say 2. Now it's giving me a warning because this modifier can only will only allow you to work in one UV set. Now previously I had baked in my changes, so this unwrap I've done absolutely nothing. But what I want to do is I want to take the current state of these clean UVs that I unwrapped and I want to move them into UV2 to use those as the basis for my light map. So I'm going to say move. Now when I open the UV editor, all of my UVs are inside here. So I'm going to go to polygon and I'm going to hit pack custom. And what that's going to do is it's going to take all of my UVs, if I turn off the display, and it packs everything uniquely inside this space. If I go select overlap polygons, nothing will be selected because I had previously unwrapped my model. So what will happen now is when the software goes and generates light maps, it's going to use this information in order to create textures of where the lights hit. So I'm just going to maybe scale this in just a little bit so it's not just perfectly edge to edge. All right, so I'm going to right click again and say collapse to and say yes. All right, so now my main piece has light maps. So I'm going to hide him. I'm going to unhide, by name, my corner. So now here on my corner piece, if I put the unwrap on and I go to 2, I'm going to actually say abandon because there was already a base set of UVs created. So if I open UV editor, what you see is what how the UVs from the original object are showing up here in this symmetry version. Okay, And so basically if I come in and say select overlapped polygons, of course I'm going to be in polygon mode, select overlap polygons, you'll see there's a lot overlapping. That's because half of this model is being mirrored over to the other side. So I could hit break and flip them. Or I could just say mapping, flat mapping, and just say OK. Now, on all of these variant pieces, what we can do is just use the flatten mapping technique because we need temporary light maps. Eventually, we're going to collapse this down and make it a unique object so that we can fix some of the mirroring that's happening inside of it. So for now, for the purposes of all of our other modular pieces, we can just flatten map them. It's important to note that we leave this on here. Anytime we make a change to the edit poly, we'll need to update this unwrap, which is why we're using that very simple technique of just using flat mapping. So I can hide him. If I go to the next piece, the cap, it's the same thing. I put an unwrap UVW on. It sits at the very top. I open the UV editor. And in polygon mode, with nothing selected, I say mapping, flatten mapping. And there you go. Everything's flattened out. So uh-oh, do you see what happened? It broke all my UVs. And the reason for that is I never changed my map channel. So this is actually okay at this point because if I just go map channel 1, I want to take this, I'm going to move it to map channel 2. So map channel 1 goes back to being exactly how it was. And map channel 1 is always the version that is displayed. And so now that crazy flat mapping version, he's stored up here in UV2. So you can continue going through the individual pieces. Adding your unwraps, changing the map channel, opening the UV editor, and in Polygon saying mapping, flatten mapping, to generate a base set of UVs for light maps. And so you'll want to do that for every single one of your pieces. And at this point, I believe I only have one more. So 
So I'll go through, unwrap UVW, open UV editor. I'm a, you could say abandon if you want. I say mapping. Oops, I gotta be in polygon. Mapping, flatten mapping. Okay. So now I have my light maps. So there you go. That's the process of creating light maps. Uh, right now we're working on our corridor set, but really any piece of static uh, environment geometry is going to need that. So later on, when we get to building modular room pieces, you will use this same technique for them. Last but not least, of course, we're going to grab everything. And once again, export selected, and we're just going to overwrite that same export file from before. Okay. So if we've already, if you have gone through and imported that, you would now go ahead and just re-import those files and they would update with the light maps into your respective game engine.